love, live, and wonder, and eat. Wonder Fruit is Asia's eco-friendly and high society version of Burning Man. It is a five-day lifestyle music festival in Thailand that combines arts, music, food, culture, and nature. More than 20,000 adventurers from all ages and cultures come together from all over the world to celebrate life. Wonder Fruit is as much a day festival as it is a nighttime festival. There's something for everyone and the possibilities are endless. You make it what you want it to be. It takes place in the fields of Siam Country Club every year around the second week of December just outside of Pattaya, about two hours from Bangkok. If you're coming from Bangkok or from the airport, the most convenient way is by taxi or a car. You can set up your own tent or splurge on luxury camping or book a hotel in Pattaya like we did. I mean, I generally love camping, but it's kind of nice to have the option to go back to a beach resort and relax by the pool away from the festival sometimes. This time, we stayed at the Renaissance Pattaya, which is roughly 30 minutes away. We checked into our hotel first and just lazed around by the pool, enjoying the sunset until all our friends arrived. There are car ride hailing apps and some hotels have transportations to and from the venue but they usually charge per person and the cost can quickly add up so if you're coming with a group I recommend booking a private van in advance for 3-4 to four days it will come out cheaper and you will have more flexibility we can start clearing all around for 20 minutes Our hero who helped us today. You can get special discounts during the early bird ticket sale and they tend to sell out. So try to get them early on if you can. Unlike Burning Man where no cash is allowed and everything is traded, here they give you a wristband which you can top up at any of those stations by cash, credit card or bank transfer and use it throughout the park just like a debit card to buy food and drinks. Let's go! Let's follow the ears of the fairy. Let's go. And finally here. Got in. <laughs> spooky installations like this no one stops to take pictures find any single-use plastic containers anywhere so you better bring your own refillable cup or buy one at any of their bars personally I think this is great eco-friendly I mean we have to save our planet right first night so there aren't that many people and the weather is so comfortable oh my god it's like 23 degrees celsius right now and it's perfect weather for like outdoor activities like this nighttime is when the world of music opens up its arm and bring people of all different ages and culture and we all just dance together
gonna stay here for a while. I love it. Wonderfru is much a food festival as it is a music festival. So for a foodie like me, you would love it here. Something smells like I'm hungry. From cooking classes to farmside barbecue, from tasting menus offered at finding dining venues to many popular food stalls handpicked from all over the country selling the best Thai street food. You will definitely find something you will enjoy eating. I always come back from the festival with a big belly and a double chin. Unlike Burning Man where you have to spend thousands of dollars to prepare everything from 7 days worth of food, showering water, drinking water, and also electric generator. At Wonderfruit, all you need is a ticket and a place to stay. Anything else, you can just get them here. Clothing, accessories, you can even get a haircut and a tattoo. Why not? Towards the end of the night, the women's bathroom and men's bathroom become one. There are more women waiting in the guys' bathroom line. Yeah. Why? The toilet is actually very, very clean. There's always something to do here every day from sunrise to beyond sunset. If you can wake up for it, I recommend that you come here around 3 and then check out the daytime. So no matter what time of the day, you can start your wonderful adventure at your own pace and your own liking. Wait, okay. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. The venue is huge as you can see from this map. From the entrance to the other end, it takes roughly 30 minutes, so you'll be walking a lot. Make sure to bring a pair of comfortable shoes because, believe me, you'll be walking a lot. I'm not kidding. Other all kinds of activities, day and night. So you should come here at different times of the day and then check out different things. There are workshops and talks which highlight several key themes such as sustainability, art, wellness, and food. Oh my gosh. 
Hello. <laughs> But maybe later. <laughs> But it's a very, very interesting idea. I would love to try it. I'm part of this Facebook group. Oh, oh yeah, happy grocers. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Tattoo Chat Market. <laughs> oh my god, not even No, no. Tattoo Chat. That's everything. Yeah, I know. Um, by the way, climate change is your problem and your responsibility to to solve. That that's basically saying you know, that, that. that we put out these messages and Blue Ball have done it too. You know, recycle your course. Um, I can feel his like energy start changing. He's getting cool, and then as soon as like the clothes start coming off, my eyes are shut. I think they're talking about masturbation. Really? Like a thing? Touching <laughs> From climate change to not masturbation, sharing your experience. Wow, this is kind of like Burning Man, Asian version of Burning Man. I've been to both the Burning Man and Wonder Fruit. This is my second time here. I went to the Burning Man like 10 years ago when it was still not as commercialized and expensive as before. Both of them are great festivals that you should you know, experience at least once in your lifetime. Wonder Fruit is slightly smaller scale, but I think it's more welcoming of kids and you know, animals, like you know, pets. Everyone can come and just be themselves and, you know, just have fun. Live, love and wonder. That's the, the motto of Wonder Fruit. You can, you can get to be a kid again. <laughs> and being a huge foodie myself, I had to go try the rice tasting from Isan province and also Sato, Thai rice wine tasting. I have an idea that if you know the different of the, uh, the flavor, then you can start mixing it. Regular rice, um, long grain rice, is translucent. When it's raw, it like, becomes kind of the cloudy when it's cooked, so it's the opposite. Like this, and smell it. Oh, like I, this. I do that, but sometimes oh. it's too hot, you know. But that, but this rice is good cooked, so. so you get different flavor. So mix black onyx jasmine, right? The texture is a little bit like rice berry, though. Yeah. Very darker. This usually means the layer of bran is thicker, so you get a bit of the bite to it. Like something like this, I would eat with very strong, like red berry. What's the difference between Japanese Korean rice versus the Thai rice? Well, the Thai rice is usually long grain and it has um, less glutinous to it and Japanese rice are usually short grains. Oh, those are short grains. And it has a very glutinous thickness. Rice. Water that we use to soak the rice, you know, we use it to make um, sompak, which is the pickle workshop. And then the leftover rice that, um, that and after we've tasted, we use it to make um, sato. Oh, sato bar. <laughs> wow, so these are fermented rice drinks. Sato tasting. Oh, wow, that's so small. Tastes a little bit like bakoli, but it doesn't have much carbonation. It's not as sweet as the Japanese or the Korean one. Right? The milk yeah, rice. This is very Basically, sweet, but I want you to eat this red one. It has a little bit of that 
red cabbage oh, like, oh, in, oh, in, oh, oh, in like oh, alright I gotta finish it all. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna not make it home tonight. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go up. Oh. Oh my god, what is this? Hi, I ran into my friend, Mark. <laughs> Hi. Happy Wonder Fruit. Happy Wonder Fruit. So I've been here for about 8 hours, so I'm a little bit tired. Luckily I have this hammock here, so I'm gonna take a nap and... Some of the most celebrated international and local DJs play their music and each of the many big stages offer different genre of music from disco to electronic music, from Latin music to even Thai folk songs. We really wanted to stay up until the sunrise but it was getting so windy and cold so we decided to call it a night and head back to the hotel. <laughs> Your shoes is gonna look very very dusty and dirty. Make sure to bring wet wipe.
Let's go. Second day. Third day. Oh. It's the third day. Oh my god. Oh, to you and all. So tired. Daytime is a lot of fun. You should come here. And here you can totally be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be anyone else. something magical and uniquely Thai that you can't find in any other festivals around the world. All of us had an amazing time at the Wonder Fruit and plan to return again year after year. Alright, this is Wonder Fruit from Thailand and live, love and wonder, right? By being true to ourselves and experiencing something new, you'll discover more about yourself too. You just have to let yourself live, love, and wonder. Alright, this is TJ from TJ Stories and I'll see you next time. Annyeong! <laughs>